Welcome students, welcome back to the series of lectures on matrices. In this lecture, we will try to do some problems on matrices. First problem, let P be an invertible matrix. with i plus p plus p square up to p power n equal to 0 that is 0 that is the 0 matrix. So, what is given is that when you add i p p square up to p n what you get is the 0 matrix find p inverse. What you are given the data that is given to you is that p is an invertible matrix and it also satisfies the following that is when you add i p p square up to p power n what you will end up is a 0 matrix. Let us try to find the solution to this. In fact, I should say find p inverse in terms of so what is given is that i plus p plus p square up to p power n this is 0 now given that p is invertible that means p inverse exists so let's multiply so multiply this equation by p inverse then what we will have is that p inverse plus p sorry p inverse plus i plus p plus up to p power n minus 1 is going to give me 0. So, this will imply p inverse is minus i minus p minus up to minus p power n minus 1 right. So, this is the inverse of the matrix so which is equal to minus of summation 0 to n minus 1 p power i. Let us do the second one next problem if a equal to 1 2 1 5 2 6 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 find a cube. So, we are given that a is 1 2 1 5 2 6 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 right. Now, let us try to find a square a square is 1 2 1 5 2 6 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 times 1 2 1 5 2 6 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 which is equal to 1 into 1 plus 2 into 5 which is 10 plus sorry minus 2 2 plus 4 minus 1 1 plus 12 minus 3 5 plus 10 minus 12 10 plus 4 minus 6 5 plus 12 minus 18 minus 2 minus 5 plus 6 minus 4 minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 plus 3 minus 2 minus 6 plus 9 minus 2 minus 6 plus 9. 
which will give me 11 minus 2 which is 9, 6 minus 1 which is 5, 13 minus 3 which is 10, 15 minus 12 which is 3, 16 minus 6 which is 10, 17 minus 8 which is 18 which is minus 1, minus 7 plus 6 which is minus 1, minus 6 plus 3 which is minus 3, minus 8 plus 9 which is 1. So, let us try to find out a cube which is a square into a which is going to give me a square is 9, 5, 10, 3, 10, minus 1, minus 1, minus 3, 1 into the given matrix A which is 1, 2, 1, 5, 2, 6 and minus 2, minus 1, minus 3. Which is equal to nine plus twenty five minus twenty eighteen plus ten minus twenty nine plus thirty minus thirty three plus fifty three plus 50 plus 2, 6 plus 20 plus 1, 3 plus 60 plus 3, 1, I will have minus 1, minus 15, minus 2, minus 2, minus 6, minus 1, minus 1 plus 18 minus 3, 36 minus 20 which is 16, 38 sorry 28 minus 20 which is 8, 30 gets cancelled you have 9. 55, 27, 6 to 6, minus 18, minus 9, 14. So, this is a cube. Next problem, the set of natural numbers that is n is partitioned partitioned into arrays of rows and columns in the form of matrices. As m 1 equal to just the first one single, m 2 is 2, 3, 4, 5, m 3 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and so on. Right, the first matrix consists of just one element 1, the second one consists of 4 elements the 2 by 2 matrix 2, 3, 4, 5. Wherever we are left with the next one is the first element of the next matrix. So, M 3 is a 3 by 3 matrix right 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 because 5 is the last element for M 2. So, if the next one is 6 it starts with in general M n is a n by n matrix whose first element is the next element corresponding to the last element of the a n minus 1, n minus 1 element of the 
m n minus 1 matrix. Fine. Now, the question is this find the trace of m n. solution. Now, let us write down the first elements of each one, right. So, these are all the first, first elements of each matrix. The first element in the first matrix is 1, 2, 6, 15, it goes and then, well, one can notice that uh, it goes well, uh, we will come back to that. One can notice that the difference is going to be just a square that we will notice. So, let me denote by T n the first element, general first element. So, 0, so let well let S n equal to 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 15 up to T n. Therefore, 0 equal to S n minus S n. So, let me write S n as follows 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 15 up to T n. Well, you have the same thing 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 15 up to T n which will give me. Now, let me write this 1 separate 2 minus 1 plus 6 minus 2 plus 15 minus 6 up to T n minus 1 minus T n minus 2 plus T n minus T n minus 1 plus T n. So, I will have a minus T n over here, right. Therefore, so, which is equal to let me write down which is equal to 1 plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to T n minus T n minus 1 minus T n. Therefore, so this is my 0, your right hand side, left hand side is 0 and you have this as the right hand side. Therefore, T n, let me bring this T n to the other end, T n is 1 plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to T n minus T n minus 1, which is equal to 1 plus well, one can notice that the difference is always a square 1 to n minus 1 i square i equal to 1 to n minus 1 i square which is given by 1 plus. We know the formula right which we must have done in when we do this principle of mathematical induction one can verify that this is going to be n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 whole upon 6. So, this is the first element. So, T n is the, this is the first element for the m nth matrix, right. Now, therefore, so let A 1 1 denote the first element of m n, then a 1 1 is given by 1 plus n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 whole upon 6. Now, the next element is just plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, what we wanted is all a i i right for 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n this is what we wanted, but one can notice that the next element the difference between the next element and the or for example, the difference between a 2 2 and a 1 1 is just n plus 1 that is the difference right. The difference is just n plus 1. So, i ith element is just 1 plus n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 upon 6 plus i times sorry i minus 1 times 
n plus 1, right. I will just write it as 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n, right. If it is 1, you will get the same element, right, other things you will get it as n, right, because the difference between any two elements is just n plus 1. Any two consecutive terms that is a 1 1 and a 2 2, the difference is just n plus 1 or more generally the difference between a i i and a i plus 1 i plus 1 is exactly n plus 1 and therefore, this is the general a i i once you know a 1 1. So, what we wanted is the trace of m n therefore, trace of m n equal to summation 1 to n a i i which is given by summation 1 to n 1 plus n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 whole upon 6 plus i minus 1 this is i running from 1 to uh, i minus 1 into n plus 1 right. So, let me just well uh, split this term sum into two terms 1 to n 1 plus n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 whole upon 6 plus summation i equal to 1 to n i minus 1 into n plus 1. This is just a constant term which means summation i equal to 1 to n just 1 which means I will end up with n times 1 plus n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 whole upon 6. This is just a constant n plus 1, I will just pull it out plus summation i equal to 1 to n i minus 1. So, i minus 1 which is equal to n into 1 into n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 whole upon 6 plus n plus 1 into well this is same as i equal to 1 to n i sorry n minus 1 i because I can just um, pull out i equal to i replace i by i minus 1. So, that I will have i as so the 1 gets uh, replace i by i plus 1. So, that it turns out to be from 0 to n, but then the 0 so here you will have 0 to n i, okay, but then the term corresponding to 0 is just 0. So, I will have 1 to n minus 1 i, which is equal to n into 1 plus n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 whole upon 6 plus n plus 1 into. So, we know that summation 1 to n i is n into n plus 1, it is only up to n minus 1. So, n minus 1 into n upon 2, n into n plus 1 upon 2, therefore, replace n by n minus 1, you have n minus 1 into n upon 2, which is going to be, let me just pull out n by 6 throughout, I will have 6 plus I have 2 n square. So, I will have 2 n cube minus 3 n. So, minus 3 n square plus n again I have a plus n minus 1 into n plus 1 which is n square minus 1. So, 3 n square minus 3 n this is what I have n by 6 into the first term is just 2 n cube 3 n square 3 n square gets cancelled minus 2 n plus 6 right, minus oh I have pulled out an n outside. So, I have an n outside. So, uh, I have an pulled out an n outside. So, what will I have 2 n cube minus 3 n square sorry th uh, 3 n square remains. So, this 3 n square gets cancelled and then terms regarding n I will have only just plus 2 a plus n. 
6 minus 3 is just 3 plus 3. So, this is the final solution. Therefore, trace of m n is n by 6 into 2 n cube plus n plus 3. Next problem, if a equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 i minus 1 minus i root 3 upon 2 i 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 i and 1 minus i root 3 upon 2 i and f x equal to x square plus 1. Then find f of a. So, what is this f of a? Wherever there is x, just replace x by a. That is what this f of a means. Solution. So, what is f x? So, given that f x is x square plus 1 and therefore, f of a is a square plus identity right 1 is replaced by the identity matrix. So, now let us try to calculate a square minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 i minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 i 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 i 1 minus i root 3 upon 2 i into minus 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 i minus 1 minus i root 3 upon 2 i 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 i 1 minus i root 3 upon 2 i. If you look at 1 by 2 i is a common thing. So, let us pull it out in both the things. So, what you will finally end up here is minus 1 by 4 because i square is minus 1 times minus 1 plus i root 3 minus 1 minus i root 3 1 plus i root 3 1 minus i root 3 into same thing minus 1 plus i root 3 minus 1 minus i root 3 1 plus i root 3 and 1 minus i root 3 this is what we have we have minus 1 by 4 into let us try to multiply. So, you have minus 1 plus i root 3 whole square minus 1 plus i root 3 whole square similarly this into this you have a square a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square, but you have an i. So, a is so 1 plus 3 this into this and similarly here a plus b into a minus b which is a square plus b square plus 1 plus 3 again this into this again you have a plus b into a minus b. So, the negative so you will have a square minus b square right. So, a square is so here a square it is going to give me uh, it will give me minus 4 here. a square minus b square 
right a square is 1 minus of b square which is i root 3 which will give me fine and here a square will give me 1 while b square no a square is i root 3 so minus 3 and b is a square minus b square fine i have this and here a square which is minus 3 minus b square so minus 1 plus this into this plus 1 plus 3 and then finally this into this what you will have is minus of 1 plus i root 3 whole square into 1 minus i root 3 whole square right let us try to calculate so minus 1 by 4 into if you try to expand this what you will have is 1 minus 2 i root 3 minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 i root 3 plus 3. So, this is going to give me 0 again here I will have a 0. So, here I will have a plus right this into this plus I have a plus minus 1 minus 2 i root 3 minus 1 minus 2 i root 3 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 i root 3 so i have minus is going to give me minus 1 by 4 into this one this gets cancelled this and this gets cancelled what i will have is minus 4 i root 3 0 0 this one and this one gets cancelled Similarly, these two gets cancelled and I will have minus 4 i root 3 which will just give me i root 3 0 0 i root 3. Now, let us try to calculate f of a therefore, f of a equal to a square plus i what is a square? a square is just i root 3 0 0 i root 3 plus 1 0 0 1. So, give me 1 plus i root 3 0 0 1 plus i root 3 this is what I have. Let us do the next one, next problem. If a equal to 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1 3 4 1 minus 2 x is an idempotent matrix is an idempotent matrix then find the value of x 
what is an idempotent matrix? A matrix A such that A square equal to A is called an idempotent matrix or whenever you see of a square matrix, a square matrix A which satisfies A square equal to A is called an idempotent matrix. Now, first let us try to find A square which is A into A 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1 3 4 1 minus 2 x times 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1 3 4 1 minus 2 x which is equal to 4 plus 1 sorry 4 plus 2 minus 4 minus 4 minus 6 minus 8 minus 8 minus 8 minus 4 x minus 2 minus 3 plus 4 2 plus 9 minus 8 4 plus 12 plus 4 x 2 plus 2 plus x minus 2 minus 6 minus 6 2 x minus 4 minus 8 plus x square which is equal to two minus eighteen minus four minus six plus eight, right? It should be plus eight. So you have minus two minus sixteen minus four x minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1, 11 minus 8 which is 3, 16 plus 4 x, 4 plus x, minus 8 minus 2 x, minus 12 plus x square. What is given is that a square equal to a. Right. What is given is that a square equal to a. So, that means what do we have that is 2 minus 1 4 plus x minus 2 3 minus 8 minus 2 x minus 16 minus 4 x 16 plus 4 x minus 12 plus x square they should be equal to 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1 3 4 1 minus 2 x. Just by comparing what we obtain is that 16 plus 4 x should be 4 or equivalently 4 plus x when you divide this by 4 implies 4 plus x should be 1 right. So, that will give me x equal to minus 3 that is 1 minus 4 which is minus 3. So, let us do the next problem. Suppose a matrix A C 
satisfies a square minus 5 a plus 7 i equal to 0 if a power 5 is 5 a plus b i then find the value of a and b solution. Now, we are given that a square minus 5 a plus 7 i is 0 and also what is given is that it also satisfies sorry a power 5 is a times capital A plus b times the identity matrix. So, we will have to find the values of a and b. Now, let us try to express. So, well before we go to the right. So, given a square minus 5 a plus 7 i is 0 that will imply that a square is 5 a minus 7 i. Now, let us try to write down a cube which is a square into a and we know that a square is 5 a minus 7 i times a which is equal to 5 a square minus 7 a which is equal to 5 into 5 a minus 7 i minus 7 times a which is equal to you have 25 a here minus 7 minus 7 a which will give me 18 a minus 7 i. So, we have expressed a cube in terms of a. Now, let us try to calculate a power 5 which is a cube into a square a cube which is 18 a minus 7 i into a square which is 5 a minus 7 i 18 into 5 which is 90 a 18 a minus 7 i 126 i sorry a sorry this should be a square a <laughs> and then you have minus 35 a plus 49 i which is equal to a square I know that it is 5 a minus 7 i minus 126 a minus 35 a 160. So, this is 161 a plus 49 i which is equal to 450 a minus 630 i minus 161 a plus 49 i which is equal to 10 minus 1 it is 9 have 14 14 minus 6 which is 8 so you have 3 3 minus 1 it is 2 a minus 10 minus 9 which is 1, so we have 13, 13 minus 4 which is 9, so 5, 591, 10, 1, 10, sorry this is 2, so this should be 8. times identity, but on the other hand what is given to us is that. So, given also 
we are given that a power 5 is small a times capital A plus b times identity. Right. So, let me call this as 1 and let me call this as 2 comparing one and two we get small a equal to two eighty nine and small b equal to minus five eighty one. Let us do the next one if a equal to alpha zero one one and a square equal to identity, then find alpha solution. So, we are given that a square equal to identity. So, to use this, let us try to calculate a square, a square which is equal to alpha 0 1 1 times alpha 0 1 1 which is equal to alpha square 0 alpha plus 1 1. So, we are given that a square is identity that is alpha square 0 alpha plus 1 1 this is equal to 1 0 0 1. So, now if you compare these two matrices what you will have is alpha square equal to 0 and alpha plus 1 is sorry alpha square is 1 and alpha plus 1 should be 0. So, this will imply that alpha equal to minus 1. So, alpha equal to minus 1 is the solution. <coughs> Next to problem, if A equal to alpha 0, 2, 3 and A square is 9 i then find alpha solution. Again you are given that a square is 9 and 9 i which means we will have to find a square, a square which is equal to alpha 0 2 3 times alpha 0 2 and 3 which is equal to alpha square second term is 0 2 alpha plus 6 sorry 2 alpha plus 6 6 and then the last term is 9. Now, we are given that a square is 9 times i that is the two matrices matrix alpha square 0 2 alpha plus 6 9 equal to 9 0 0 9. So, what we have is alpha square is 9 just by comparing the coefficients and similarly this one you will have it as 2 alpha plus 6 equal to 0. So, these two together will imply that alpha equal to minus so, alpha equal to minus 3 is the solution. Let us do the next problem. If x x x times y y y y y y y 
if this is equal to 1 by 3 times 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 then show that x equal to y by 9 sorry 1 by 9 y 1 by 9 y solution what we are given is that x x x x x x x x x when you multiply it with y y y y y y y y y the resulting matrix is just 1 by 3 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 this is what is given now let us try to find out what the left hand side is if you look at the left hand side it is just the multiplication of matrices with entries just equal to x and y respectively right these two are the matrices which is equal to 3 x y throughout right x y x y x y. So, you will have 3 x y throughout fine. If you compare with the given equation with the first one what we obtain is that 3 x y equal to 1 by 3 that means, x y equal to 1 by 9 or equivalently x equal to 1 by 9 y. Let us do one more problem. If the equations x minus 2 y plus 3 z equal to 0 minus 2 x plus 3 y plus 2 z equal to 0 minus 8 x plus lambda y equal to 0 have non trivial solution then find lambda solution So, the let us write the augmented matrix or the coefficient matrix because your co constant term matrix is just 0. So, 1 minus 2 3 minus 2 3 2 minus 8 lambda 0 this is the constant term matrix. Now, let us try to convert this into its row reduced echelon form. Let us try to convert this minus 2 and minus 8 into 0, R 2 is replaced by R 2 plus 2 times R 1, R 3 is replaced by R 3 plus 8 times R 1, 1 minus 2 3 because the first row is unaltered, second one R 2 minus 2 plus 2 times 1 which is 0, 3 plus 2 times minus 2 which is 3 minus 4 which is minus 1, 2 plus 2 times 3, so 2 plus 6 which is 8, minus 8 
plus 8 times 1 this is going to give me 0 lambda minus 16 right lambda plus 8 times minus 2 which is lambda minus 16 0 plus 8 times 3 which is 24. Now, let us try to multiply this row into 1 so that you will make this into this minus 1 into 1 r 2 is replaced by minus of r 2 1 minus 2 3 0 1 minus 8 0 lambda minus 16 24. Let us try to convert these two elements into 0, r 1 is replaced by r 1 plus 2 times r 2, r 3 is replaced by r 3 plus 16 minus lambda into r 2. So, the first two columns are just going to look like 1 0 0 0 1 0 fine r 1 3 plus 2 times minus 8. So, 3 minus 16 which will give me minus 13 the next one is remains unaltered next one 24 plus 16 minus lambda into minus 8. Right, this is what I am going to have. So, let us write it down 1 0 minus 13, 0 1 minus 8, 0 0 120, 128. So, minus 128 plus 24. So, you will have 8 lambda minus. 104 right 8 lambda minus 104 now i want what is exp given is that the system has got a non trivial solution if the system has got a non trivial solution which means that the rank of the coefficient matrix should be less than 3 so if you want the rank to be less than 3 this 8 lambda minus 104 should be 0. So, for the existence of a non trivial solution eight lambda minus 104 should be equal to 0. Therefore, 8 lambda minus 104 is 0 that will imply lambda is 104 upon 8 which is equal to 12 sorry 13 which is equal to 13. Thus, lambda equal to 13 is the only value for which the given system will have a non trivial solution. So, if lambda is not equal to 13, if you just look at the previous one, <laughs> this 8 lambda minus 104 is going to be non zero. So, that you can divide this by a no because it is non zero, you can divide by that and you will get as 1 and you can make the other things into 0. So, that what you will end up with is a trivial solution because what you will have is an identity matrix. In that case, the only solution that you get in this case is just going to be the 0 0 0 solution which is a trivial solution. So, for the existence of the non trivial solution the only possibility is that lambda should be equal to 13.
Thank you all.